everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new in today's video i will be painting on a snowflake on this snowflake i saw it at the store and i thought it was the cutest thing ever and i've never painted on something like this so i'm really excited to see how that works out for me i kind of have an idea of what i want to paint i want something christmasy and with snow christmas is my favorite holiday i have nothing on my walls on my bedroom so i really want to change that and hang this one up on my wall but first things first let's find a reference So this is the reference image I found. I think it's really pretty. And now it's time to get our art supplies. The paints I'm using today are the Liquitex Heavy Body Acrylic. Let's get started. Voiceover Viv is here. So I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit. I actually forgot <laughs> to film in between me painting. So it's just it's just painting. So I thought you guys wouldn't find that that interesting. So I decided I'd give you guys a little bit of story time because this is something you guys have been wondering about and I would love to tell you the story on how I became an artist. So I officially became an artist when I had just turned 15, but I have always loved art. Art is something I absolutely love. I could do art any day anytime anywhere but yeah so i had just turned 15 and it kind of just happened unexpectedly Un unexpected i cannot say that word someone please help but anyways i hope you know what i mean but yeah i i didn't plan it it just kind of just happened um i don't want to say that word because i'm not gonna say it right but I was going through a really tough time at the time. I was bullied a lot in school, in middle school, high school. Um, so it was very tough for me. And also I had just gotten diagnosed with my breathing condition, which I'll talk more about in the future. But just the combination of those two things happened at once. So it was just a lot for Viv. <laughs> she could not take that. So she needed a way to kind of cope with these things. And I needed an escape. Something that would turn all that bad into something good. So then art happened. I started making art every day. <laughs> and I absolutely loved it. I didn't know that making art would make me so much more happier i was just so happy i don't know how to explain it i was just having the time of my life and i didn't need anything else but a pencil and some paper and i would just make drawings and eventually i got into pastels and pastels is one of my favorite mediums is one of the first ones i started with and they're, they're incredible. If you haven't tried pastels, I highly recommend you try them. They blend so well. It's incredible. But anyways, then I moved on to colored pencil and just paintings. And I would practice every day. There was not a day I would not make art. And if I didn't feel like making art, I wouldn't force myself to. I would just create when I wanted to. But because art made me so happy, I would naturally just do it every day. So eventually, I started getting better. But it took years, years to get better, even though I would do it almost every day. So when I started, I was 15. And now I'm 22. 
So I've been making art for the past seven years or so, if my math is correct, because math was not my favorite subject, but seven years of making art, of experimenting and trying different things and just having fun. And I absolutely love it. It is a dream. And I just want to say I am so so extremely blessed to do what I love for a living and somehow in the past seven years I've turned this hobby you know this once time of my life that was just tough for me into something that was good something that made me better and while I don't claim to have profound wisdom um nor that my path is the best one I, I thought that some aspiring artists out there might be encouraged to see the road that someone else has taken. And this is, this is my journey. And that is how I became an artist, was going through a tough time. I mean, who knew going through a tough time would unravel the talent? <laughs> but you know what? It all starts somewhere. And maybe you can relate to my story, maybe not, or maybe you feel inspired. I really hope you feel inspired. Or maybe you're trying to get into art. And I just want to say, you can do it. Because no matter what, art is such a freeing thing. It's, it's just so creative. Art is anything. Literally. It could be anything. You can create something and it's art. So that's kind of what I'm trying to say and I'm just rambling, but yeah, I'm really happy with the journey so far. And again, I am so grateful, super duper grateful. And yeah, that's, that's my art journey. I tried to keep it pretty short. I hope you guys are proud of me, but yeah, I'm trying to see what else I can tell you guys. <laughs> while you guys are watching the time lapse i hope you guys are still here are you still watching leave a comment down below and send some panda emojis in the comments and those people are the ones who are still here hearing this and watching the video i applaud you and i appreciate you but um if you're looking into getting into art i highly recommend it and if you need someone to talk to, I'm here. But yeah, I'll let you enjoy the time lapse now. A million people in the crowd, but I only see your face in all the lights. And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really want to make you mine. I don't really care. It's finally done! Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. Bum, bum, bum. And here it is, my finished painting. I think it turned out really nice. I like the color. I'm probably gonna hang it somewhere in my room. I don't know where. I did actually break it right here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I tried to save it. It took me about an hour or two. It took me like two hours, I'd say. I really hope you liked the painting. Let me know what other videos you would like to see from me. And let me know if you want any prints or stickers of this artwork. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Something about you, yeah.